In this video, we will be discussing populations and samples. But we first must, must understand the meaning of a population, a sample, and the word representative. And you should be able to explain the difference. So here I have some Hershey's. Um, and these are going to represent the population. The population is the whole group of things or individuals that you want to study. Now within this population, when it comes to statistics, I want to be able to take a sample. Okay, so if I take this population of Hershey's and I put them inside of this bowl here, so I'm just gonna drop them all and you can visualize that this represents people or whatever you wanna do. So taking this population of Hershey's, right? And usually with populations, they're all mixed together. So if we have them all mixed in, if I want to take a sample, there's different ways that I can take a sample. I can take a sample by doing a random sampling which means i can just reach in and grab some and say i want six and i close my eyes and say one two three four five six when i open it up look at the distribution so i can tell you right up front i started with 12 red and 12 silver but when i reached in for this sample which is a subset of this entire group to represent it, this is a random sample. But if you notice, it is not, it, is, it does not represent this entire population, right? So when I pull this sample out, yes, this is a sample, which is part of this population that I am studying. However, it is not a representative sample. A representative sample is a subset of the group that reflects all the individuals of the population. And it must be large enough where I am able to obtain the information that I need. So since I have 12 of each, if I wanted to do a sample, I can keep it where I say, okay, I want um, five from this group and I want five from this group. Now, remember the population is the entire thing, but this small uh, representative sample, it is a small sample so it's small enough that and effective enough to conduct my study however it is not just randomly drawn sometimes when you do random samples you can do what i did which is you just pull out a handful or you can also have it where it's numbered that's also random so if you say some people are coming into a grocery store and let's just say these are the population of shoppers that's waiting to get in and you say okay we need a sample to do this survey and i am going to pick every fourth person so if i close my eyes i say one two three and i'm not looking at the camera four that's the first person one two three four that's the second person one two three four that's the third person one two three four that's the next person one two three four that's the next person and one two three four so i did a random by picking every fourth person and look at the subset that i got so we need to make sure that as we study population samples and representative Many of the populations are so large that it would take either a very long time to survey or it'll be too expensive to survey, All right? So we also must have at least one or two individuals from each group um, in the population. We must make sure that we have one or two individuals in a group in each population. And with a random sample, why do you think that a random sample is usually also a representative sample? It's because if every individual has the same chance of being selected and the sample is large enough, it is likely that the samples of the various types in the, um, there are samples of the various types in the population. It's always good to survey randomly selected individuals um, to form your representative sample. Okay, so in this video, we talked about the difference between populations, samples, and representatives.